Also just into our newsroom, a teenager is dead after a shooting in Lincoln Heights. Yeah, it is the latest in a string of shootings there this week. And now tonight, the push for change. Nine on your side's John Genovese joins us live from UC Medical Center with what we know and who is speaking out. John. Well, we just found out in the last hour that 17-year-old DeMarlo McIntosh has passed away from his injuries in that shooting. He was rushed here to UC Medical Center around 6.30 tonight. Deputies are now searching for a suspect as people in Lincoln Heights are demanding change. For the third time in just eight days. I just heard two or three quick gunshots. The village of Lincoln Heights is shaken by gunfire, this time at the R Corner store off Chester Road. And it's the only store in the neighborhood and it's just a place for people to gather. Cheryl Grissom lives in the area. She says something needs to be done. They have nowhere else to go. You know, I mean, this is a small knit community and they have nowhere else to go. There's no other outlet. We're told around 6:30, 17 year old DeMorlo McIntosh was shot multiple times in front of the store. He was rushed to UC Medical Center but didn't make it. Deputies are now searching for a suspect. I was born and raised here. Matter of fact, when I was a little kid, I used to go there and buy candy. Vice Mayor Richard Hedden is sick of it. He hopes his message will get out. People really need to come to this census in the community uh, to help. Less than two weeks ago, the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office officially took on law enforcement for the community. They patrol all the time, and it's, it's really a good thing. And I'm very pleased with what the sheriff, the job the sheriff is doing, and it's going to take them time to know the neighborhoods and know the people who's doing this. Now they're dealing with three shootings, at least two deadly. A string of violence as people here are searching for a solution. It's something that we really had to work with, not only just council, not only just the sheriff, the whole community need to come involved. These these are people's kids, two family tonight have a big problem. And deputies say they do not have any description of a suspect in this. If you know anything, they're asking you to call Crime Stoppers tonight. Remember, you can remain anonymous. For now, reporting live, John Genovese, 9 on your side.